guys, welcome to another week of uh, Camp Palace Barbecue, another day actually. Uh, today we are at the Battle Wagon, we're on the side grill, the Helotus uh, side pit uh, on the Crawford's uh, Battle Wagon. But today we're just going to be doing a little bit of a... I went to go visit my buddy Mark over in Uvalde Meat Market and Processing Plant. I hauled some cows this week so I went over there and we got some of these beef marinated fajitas um like i said these are already marinated i'm not gonna do much to them maybe just take some a uh, little excess fat off we're gonna make some tacos and stuff and and have some good good tacos today it's um today is national cousins day today i'm gonna do it i'm drinking keystones from my primo rick over there at rick's barbecue and specialties if y'all haven't gone to see him y'all go check him out um but yeah since it's national cousins day I'm drinking some keystone light for my primo rick Cheers. So, all right, guys, I'm going to pull them out. I'll probably give them a little bit of dusting. I mean, they're already marinated. I'm going to give them a little dusting of maybe some burnt beef or something. And uh, we're going to go straight on the grill. I'm going to get it real hot. It's going to be a quick cook. And then the most important part of this is going to be the rest of the fajitas. Give them a quick cook, sear, um, and then uh, let them rest. So let's check back up once I get them out of the pack, guys. All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get them out of the pack. I just opened them up, like I said. I might not do much to them. They're marinated great. Get them out here real quick. I might just cut them into this one whole slab, so. The thing is that marinate, hold on, wait a minute. That marinate that he uses kind of breaks down a lot of stuff that's already in there. I mean, I'm sure you can clean up a lot of this stuff. I'll go in there and, you know, stuff that you see that's crazy. I'll go ahead and clean that. Sorry for the background noise. Got company and they, uh, phone rang so they're talking on the phone you know and all these dingers and stuff take all this stuff right here thing is why I don't like to take off so much is due to the fact that it's got that marinate that seasoning on there already so I don't like to mess with it and the thing is that I've For the most part, every time I cook them this way, they come out pretty good. So I know it's already, it's already got marinated, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, burnt beef on there, just a little bit. Like I said, this ain't gonna, it's low on sodium. So it's not gonna add more saltiness to it. It'll just in, try to give it a little enhanced beef flavor. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna give it like so just a little dust. That's it. Now I got the grill set. Temps are really hot, so I'm just gonna go ahead right now and set them on the grill grates, and we'll catch up once we get over there. Okay, guys. So got these fajitas. Got my grates about 400 degrees. We're gonna let them roll. Woo! Yeah, only had smell of it. Mm -mm -mm. Listen to that. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat good. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna, like I said, get them a sear through both sides, and then bring them off. So we'll check back here on the first flip. All right, guys, we're on the first flip. Woo wee! <laughs> that is hurting. Hurting, hurting. Like I said, I know a lot of y'all are not from the area, but. My buddy over at Uvalde Meat Market, 
he will del deliver nationwide. I'll put his uh, information in the description below. All right, we'll check back here in a bit. You're good. All right, guys, so I pulled him out. Uh, I think I gave him like four, eh, probably six minutes per side. I pulled him out, let him rest. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this right here. Put this one back. Like I said, always go against the grain. And if your belt's a long ways, cut down the middle and then twist it this way and you're going to have your full belt. So, see what happens. Uh-huh. I bet. See, so if y'all get an opportunity, get a chance. I know a lot of people that are watching might not be from the area, but y'all hit up Mark. My buddy over at uh, Uvalde Meat Market. He'll ship them to you. He's got a bunch of great stuff out there. I'm gonna start getting a lot more stuff from him and cooking. So I got these strips right here. Look at that. Good medium. Get a little pop. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get these together and we'll come back in a bit. Damn, that was good. Shit. All right, guys, so we got him plated. I got my cousin here. He's trying to run away, but we got his son over here. He's <laughs> here's, he, he beat the taste testing, but we got him plated up. Good stuff. Y'all get a chance to go out there and see my buddy at a uh, Uvalde meat market. Yeah, money, money. Check it out. Perfect. I cooked them fast, like six minutes per side, pulled them off, let them rest. Crazy, crazy good. Hey guys, appreciate all the love, support, likes, shares. If y'all like this one, y'all better stick tuned for the next one. It's gonna be a good one. Really good, traditional guys. I got hooked up for my buddy Mark over at uh, Uvalde Meat Market, so it's gonna be a good one. Y'all stick with it, I appreciate it. Love y'all. A tirar botes, no hay más.